Today, Caden Stevenson looks like any other nine-year-old, but her journey has been a complicated one. At five months old, a virus attached to her heart, and her heart didn't recover. So this artificial heart was a bridge to life until she received a heart transplant in December of 2007. That heart belonged to this boy, Devon. The two families formed a close bond, even vacationing together. But four years after the transplant, Cadence developed coronary artery disease. Her mother, Chantel, was devastated. How do I tell Devon's family? Yeah. Because I didn't want it to feel like they were losing him again. After a lot of prayer, Chantel and her husband put Cadence back on the donor wait list. It took another 292 days before another heart became available in August of 2014. But this time, they did not get a letter from the donor family, so they don't know who they are. They said that they um, would be sending a letter. We just haven't heard anything. Of course, always love to be able to have a relationship with them. Today, Cadence is healthy, but her vocal cords were affected by being intubated so often. She may talk softly, but her words are heartfelt. I've been given such a big gift. And I'm really thankful. Chantel is so grateful to the families who choose organ donation. If not for them, Cadence wouldn't be able to play today with her six-year-old brother, Carden. I think Cadence's mission is a little different, and we're not in charge of it, but we'll do the best to hopefully help her donor families know how grateful we are for what they've given us and take care of her the best that we can.